Cooking with Frankie presents chicken biryani transformed from our chicken curry. Begin by preparing the marinade combining the following ingredients in a bowl. To make the garam masala dry roast the whole spices until fragrant and grind to form a fine powder. Combine together with the marinade ingredients and refrigerate for a few hours or overnight. We will now prepare the rice using the following ingredients to make chicken biryani. You can skip this step if you're just making chicken curry. Heat the ghee in a large saucepan and saute the whole spices until they're fragrant. Combine boiling salted water together with the lemon juice. Add the rice cooking through until partially cooked and still firm. Drain the rice and set aside. We will proceed to make the coconut and saffron milk using the following ingredients to drizzle over the chicken biryani. You can skip this step if you're just making the chicken curry. Heat the coconut milk in a small saucepan until simmering. Add the saffron strands and stir through. Cover with a lid and remove from heat, infusing for about 10 to 15 minutes or until a vibrant yellow colour appears. With everything ready, we will now proceed to assemble the dish with the following ingredients. Heat the ghee in a large saucepan and add the pandan leaf and curry leaves cooking through until aromatic. Saute the onions until translucent and fragrant. Combine the tomatoes together with the ground spices and stir through. Add the marinated chicken thigh fillets together with the green chilies. Cover and simmer on low heat for 45 minutes, stirring occasionally. The juices from the chicken thigh fillets will be naturally released. Season with salt and pepper to taste. At this point we will transform into a chicken biryani, layering with the previously cooked rice. Evenly distribute with the coconut and saffron milk to ensure contrast of yellow, red and white. Garnish with chopped coriander and mint. Cover and simmer on low heat for 15 to 20 minutes ahead of removing from heat. Once the chicken biryani has rested, you are now ready to serve the dish. Although mildly spiced, feel free to add some yogurt as a cooling agent together with some chutney for sweetness. Garnish with chopped coriander and mint. Free range hard boiled eggs. And for a bit of crunch, some papadums. That's cooking with Frankie's chicken curry transformed into chicken biryani.